astounding. Yeah. <laughs> you go up to your guitar like, you need to step the yeah. game up. <laughs> Sorry, uh, can you, uh... <laughs> do better? <laughs> just do better. Look, look, we all, we all love you. We all think you're great. But just fucking, fucking do better. Do better than this. Yeah, stop it. What's wrong stop, with you? Stop <laughs> being the way you are right now. Stop it. Anyway, how do you like the lamb? I like to imagine that they were at a dinner party with other people <laughs> when this is happening. <laughs> it's a bit gamey. Ugh. Ugh. God damn. Do better. Do <laughs> better. It's gonna be braised. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. That's in your mouth. Ugh. You just you pull it apart with your fingers? Yeah. That's a good time. Yeah. That's how we in the upper echelon eat. That's how all of us in our floating cloud city eat <laughs> over here. Do you get yours, like, medium rare? Yeah, I, I actually do. Oh, <laughs> I get mine just medium. Unless I really don't trust the place. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll go, I'll go medium, medium well. This is fun for them to know <laughs> our orders. If you ever, if we ever do... Medium well, Ian? What, you just want to throw out the fucking steak and not taste it? <laughs> it's not well done. I just... It's right beneath it, though. It's, it's, it is right beneath it. I don't trust a lot of people. I'm an inherently suspicious person. Okay. I, that's fair. I I walk into a place. I walk into a place. If I can tie everything back to anti-Semitism, I don't know about these guys. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I can trust. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You look like the kind of guy who throws a salute in a Jewish neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Uh, I don't know about this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so you just want these charred, ashy pieces of meat? It's not charred. It's still got <laughs> some. It's got some red in there. It's got some. I don't know. Where do you? Where do you go for your cuts? Where do I go? Where like do you if go? I'm buying? Yeah, if you're buying. Uh, on the if I'm if I'm just looking for cheap. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Um, Stater Bros has a fairly decent yeah. butcher shop for yeah. being a chain. Um, Northgate is really good if I want like. Especially chicken or um, like just flat meat or carne asada. Yeah. So, I don't get to go to fancy butcher shops. I was gonna. I was actually gonna say Northgate. Northgate's where I get like yeah. all my meat. Northgate's where I get my veggies, man. It's so. Fucking oh, are cheap. they good? No, it's so. Fu- it's good and it's so fucking cheap. Like, you just buy a lot. The yeah. only problem, the only thing is, since uh, they're not just coated in pesticides. pesticides and chemicals, they rot faster. Right. So you just gotta use them more. Better use them like right there, like when you get home. Yeah. Well, I can't. I can't wait. I have to crack this avocado fucking now. <laughs> fucking now. You Quick. Still, you gotta scrape the worms off the yams. Oh no. Yeah. Still gotta. <laughs> from, uh, what was it? Uh, Futurama when Leela goes to the organic uh, market. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're gonna want to use this right now, yeah. and it's just <laughs> wilting on the conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> like takes a bite of the yam and has worms in it. I I just watched an episode of Futurama I either have never seen or just forgot about. Oh yeah. Um, um, it's where Bender gets amnesia and thinks that he's a hillbilly. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Do you remember this? Yeah. No, he doesn't get amnesia. Oh. Uh, what happens is that he is sent to the witness relocation program. Yeah. yeah. And they think that this hillbilly moon farmer is Bender. Right. Oh, and but then it turns the, out it's not. It's just... It's just another bender. <laughs> yeah. And, it's just then, a bender. and then Clamps goes to kill him because he saw... Uh, who was it? Uh, shoot. The robot. The robot soap opera. Oh, Calculon. 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 Yeah, yeah, Calculon get killed by the mafia. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And then he... At a wedding. Comes back to life and Calculon and then stays to the yes. But... Let's just have, recap the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a joke that's fucking is really funny, which is his hillbilly name. Do you remember his hillbilly name? No, I forgot. As uh, oh, sorry, I'm not Bender. My name's Billy West. Billy West. That's a ridiculous hick name that no one would ever have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. So, so, so mm. episode. Thirteen. Is it? No. No, no, no. Fifteen? No. Uh, Maybe. Fifteen or sixteen. Fifteen or sixteen. Who fucking knows, like, anymore? <laughs> Whoever's watching. <laughs> Whoever's watching. We've all been deprived of sleep lately. I feel yeah. like that's that's an off-the-top off the, off the top kind of deal. Let's oh, yeah. put that out there. Yeah. So, like, forewarning for the channel right now, um, I'm probably not going to do anything too fancy 
as of right now solely because um, this specific quarter of college yeah. I'm taking like my senior symposium so yeah. I have to do a shit ton of reading and writing yeah, on, sorry. on top of like other stuff well it's just it's just time like at this point like yeah. We're, we're about to enter the fourth week or fifth week, mm-hmm. and I've already read, like, three novels for just that one class. Oh, man. Yeah. Deep. And then that's not that's not even including all the other ones. Oh. Okay. One of them's, like, advanced expository writing, literacy, um, and culture, and shamanism, and magic. Ooh. No, it's not as interesting as oh, I thought it was going to be. That actually sounds really cool. But... I thought, yeah, I thought, too. I thought so, too. There, there's interesting bits in there. Oh, like what? It's just, it's just this class I have to take once. Uh, it's only once a week, mm-hmm. uh, but it's a four hour long class, mm-hmm. and the reading is fucking dense. And maybe just because I'm not used to anthropology classes, so sure it tends to be a lot more dense. Anthro is, yeah, sounds is draining. I, yeah. I took one anthro class and that was. I don't know how Carissa yeah. does it. I think. She, well, she just must love everything. She, oh, yes. Just, you talk about, you know, tribal behavior. Yeah. Talk about... Me and her once talked about, I think for like 20 minutes, about this culture where they discovered they had locks, and they were an ancient civilization, and all the implications that that would have. The concepts of, like, privacy and things like Concept that? Concept privacy, possible concept of shame. Um, Ooh. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. That's to think about, yeah. But I don't know if you... I don't want to read it. it. Yeah. <laughs> is, yeah. That's about right. Is the, <laughs> I'd rather read some uh, English uh, journal article, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Just, you want to read about, like, I don't know. Not an essay, not the fun shit. No. No. <laughs> Man, that's like, that's like a turn in college when the essay becomes the fun thing to read oh, and write god that's horrifying yeah. moment for everybody when and you're the like, articles are what suck yeah just this 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 turn from like i remember when i was in early parts of college and we were reading uh-huh. like percy shelley's essays on like oh, yeah. i don't know how i feel about god and here's also how i feel about art yeah i was like oh god this is kind of dry god, I, I really wish and then you like find other stuff like Keating's writing on, like, I don't know, econ- economics or something. Yeah. It's just like, oh, Jesus. Why? 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 <laughs> Why would you do this? Um, yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens, it happens. It happens, man. Because essays are just the fun things you get to write, where it's like, I get to talk about fucking anything. I'm like, exactly. I don't even need, like, some universal theory. It's just mostly my mind wandering into probably more questions than answers and cu- and that format is kind of permissible yeah have you done european style essays yet no oh they're fun they're i've fun. actually done a pretty good job staying away from <laughs> european. i know that i know that so so like the difference between european and other style yeah. and the the style i've read that... i've read an uh essay by orson welles Fairly recently, so I don't know if that counts. But was that well? It's, so basically, it was World War Two era. So. Oh, okay. Well, like the idea that European style essays are just like really, op- really open ended. Okay. Like the essays you learned to write in high school, we all learned to write in high school. Or not actually, essay, but yeah. That yeah, it's just like thesis statement, defense, 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 C- counter argument, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then the, and you have European style, which is just like, what is grammar? And then you just have like this meandering yeah. kind of stream of consciousness of just thoughts laid out that g- goes hither and yon. And then you get to the end and it's just like, any who's ill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oy, the Blitzkrieg was bad. <laughs> Let's all, you know, but... What is? What? I, I just can't stop picturing, um, what's it, Jackie O saying that for some reason? That's really funny. What bars are these? <laughs> what are hats? Uh, I, any, what are anything. We, what are we, we're not even doing like British accents, we're doing. I was like a terrible Irish. I was, I was doing like a weird Bro- Brooklyn, Boston y accent. Uh, I was, well, I was just talking because I don't know what, what bars are these. 
Uh, oh god, I had a fuck. I had a question for you, but I'm like blanking on it. It, it has to do with being old. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about it? it sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> now there was a moment where I realized, man, that's like at what point does that flip flop? And it was really good. I was really proud of it. Mm-hmm. And like totally blanking. Well, out. It, when it comes up, maybe right, at just, the end of this podcast, yeah. I need to close it off somehow. Throw it out. Man. I mean, there is an exact moment where you just body just gives up. Yeah. Oh does. yeah. You uh you just uh you just every part of you shits yourself. Even your eyes. Just shitting your eyes. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. so yeah, what 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 have you been up to, Ian? What have I been up to? Yeah, uh man. since last month. Since last month. Since last year technically. Wow. Since last year. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Um I It been... just feels longer because we did that early. Like, we yeah we did that early so it really just so does we got, just so we get it out of the way yeah. it feels like a long time since I yeah so, well I saw you at New Year it was yes a good time. yeah it was a good time it's all right <laughs> <laughs> whatever I could take it or leave it um just some really intense beers those were some great yeah. beers man oh they were really good those were delicious they uh, were all killers the uh, the one in the uh, sort of turquoise uh, labeled bottle turquoise yeah. uh, oh the that one, the, mo- the, the winter. Oh, uh, the Mother's Earth um, brown ale. Brown ale. Yeah, Ooh, it's like, was... I forget what it's called. I think that... Winter's Harvest, it might be. But Bes- yeah, besides the last one we drank, that was my favorite. That was your favorite? I favorite. think, yeah, that one was maybe my that favorite. That was up there. Yeah. That one's up there. It's flavorful. It's heavy. I mean, all of them were heavy. All of them tasted like... All of them, well, because we save all the heavy ones for... Events. Like, that. like January... <laughs> I mean, you want to go into the new year just, yeah. like, forgetting everything. Which I get. I'm on board. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that stuff was like, when you poured it into the glasses, I, I was like, oh, this is straight up motor oil, man. Yeah, is- we saw that uh, Black Tuesday. Yeah. And Black oh. Tuesday is scarier because it doesn't taste like it has that much alcohol. Not at all, no. Uh, and it has, like, 20%. Well, I mean, yeah, some of those beers are, like, as strong as, like, a spirit, even. Yeah. They're really strong. Yeah, yeah, the Black Tuesday is as strong as uh, just regular sake. So. Oh my god, it's really yeah. good. Yeah, it's very good. So if anyone wants to go out and buy those products, uh, please, they're, deli- they're delicious. Yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah. So what? Read anything? Watch anything? Uh, yeah. You want to talk about the aliens on Star Trek? Oh my god, I did. What about I them? wanted to segue. Two things that's. Are we gonna talk about the ethics between the bl- half black, half white? Yeah, and the nice. half white, half black ones. Yeah. Yes, we sh- we should. Um, but a fun, a quick them. tangent. Um, yeah. And once in high school, yeah. a friend of mine who worked for like the high school newspaper, he asked me one day, "What do you think of when you think of diversity?" And I immediately <laughs> <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> and I immediately said, "The half black, half white aliens." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I can't put that in the <laughs> It's. I mean, it's not a wrong answer. Yeah. You asked what I... <laughs> what about when that guy got hit by that barrel? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, but that's diversity? Yeah. That's, di- that's diversity, guys. Yeah. I actually just finally saw that episode where Worf gets hit by a barrel and his spine is crushed into powder. <laughs> yeah. And it's... Uh, <laughs> underwhelming, mostly, but, yeah. uh... No, yeah, I said, that episode's, like, it's dumb. pretty boring, actually, the <laughs> yeah. entire thing. But, except for that, those two scenes. Um, so, I don't know, uh, forgive me, everybody, if I keep repeating myself, I don't remember what I say or don't, but okay. my, uh, I have grandparents who just moved into my house. Okay. They're pretty old. They're just the worst. But, they, uh, they only watch, I guess, technically three shows. Okay. Matlock. No, not Damn Matlock. It, Mash. No! Good guesses! <laughs> uh, the only three shows I've ever seen them all, and I can, because, like, the TV is so loud that... Maury. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to replace that TV, because the speakers are definitely... Anyway, uh, one is uh, Star Trek OG. Mm-hmm. Okay. Star Trek Next Gen. Mm-hmm. And Ancient Aliens. On of the course! Show. That's about right. Why do old people love ancient aliens? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. So, like, I, I had always assumed that ancient aliens was just kind of 
uh, arguing that like all the history you think you know, it's actually aliens. Pyramids, aliens. Uh, the yeah. Mayans, also aliens. Yeah, they were. All, it was always aliens. It's always aliens. Yeah. But uh, I didn't realize there was so much like religious context in that show. Mm-hmm. Like they're like, what if the Bible was written by aliens? <laughs> If you what? look at this Renaissance is? painting, there's like a goddamn flying saucer. <laughs> what the Prophet Muhammad seemed to be describing was mm-hmm. an alien spacecraft. <laughs> and, and it's always narrated that way. But, um, so hold that thought as I then mention a new podcast I just started listening okay. to. Okay. Okay. Heaven's Gate. Uh, okay. Which is about Heaven's Gate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that cult about all the people who. Uh, poisoned themselves and then thought they were going to fly on a spaceship uh, mm-hmm. the, to space. Bad publicity for Nike. Soup's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can still visit the website. The two people are still alive. Yeah, that's right. There's actually, uh, well, two of the people who, who did survive the suicide attempt, but it turns out Heaven's Gate, I just found this out, sorry, is it was like in the hundreds of members in the 1980s. Yes. Uh-huh. And then it, like, very quickly petered off, and then uh, David Koresh was like, time to, time to check out, time to, yeah. uh, time to, uh... Time to cash in on this investment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All we just to get laid. Right? These calls are just made just so a guy can bang some... You're not wrong. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, Why do it? But, uh... So, so this, by the way, this podcast is really good. I yeah. recommend you go listen to it. It's mm-hmm. ten parts, ten hour-long parts, uh-huh. and it's it kind of just dissects the original creators of the cult. It turns out David Koresh wasn't even the original guy. Oh, that's he, interesting. He took it over from uh, two hippies from the 70s who thought that they were hybrid humans. Okay. Uh, who were like... We just want to transcend, and we believe that aliens will take us up, and we can live forever and never die. Um, they were from Texas, that's why. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, so after listening to all this, I suddenly realized, oh my god, like, Heaven's Gate is a thing that could totally, absolutely A, happen again, and B, yeah. my grandparents would be super into. <laughs> They're just like, oh my god, what if Jesus was from space? What if that was what had happened? Um, so I've been thinking a lot about that. Jesus in space. Uh, mm-hmm. it's a really good place. It's on that comment somewhere. Oh my god, yeah, you just gotta, you gotta beam them up. It's not in poor taste. They said it in the suicide tapes. That's not bad taste for me to say it now. Um. Mm-hmm. In, the, in the transcript, it has to be written with quotations because you're quoting something. That's true. Oh, and that's, see, that's what's crazy to me is that, like, I don't know what it is, because you're absolutely right. The people who watch Ancient Aliens are exclusively old people. Uh, I don't know about exclusively, but I feel like the fair majority is, like... I was going to say that and people who, like, do shrooms recreationally. Like, like not desert shrooms, not like, I'm going to go find myself. It's just like, it's Friday, let's party! It's Friday, uh, whatever's growing on my front lawn. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, go good with the Kool-Aid. Yeah, exactly. It's... It's a party, you guys. Why don't you drink it? Everybody drink it now. <laughs> oh, New World. Shit. Some soma. Oh, my God. Dude. If you, can, if you can find the mushroom, let me know. Oh, if I can... I can, I can talk to some people. I, can, I, I know where to ask. Um, I feel like someone... Like, I feel like the first thing anyone takes uh, when making their own drug is, like, the name Soma. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's too easy. We really need to start reaching. Yeah. We really should start reaching. See, but, like, I'm thinking of something in my head, and I'm like, that's probably already something that I don't know. Right, exactly. Like Cracker Jack, I feel like. Ooh, I, I'd take Cracker Jack. <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like you smoke Cracker Jack. You Am smoke I, Cracker is that, Jack. Is that off base? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I, I imagine it's pills with, like, Pop Rocks in them. Did you ever have this thing when you were in high... Well, we went to the same high school. Yes, we did. did. did we, we, <laughs> no, just out that? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We went to different high schools in different states. but At the same time. At the same time. We're from Canada. We're from... We're both, you know, British Columbians. British... Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Um, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewanese. No, French Canadians. Saskatchewanese. You can't hear it? Well, good. Because we don't want you to. I'm really not trying hard for these jokes. Like, <laughs> This is... 
This is literally just stream of consciousness, whatever comes That's up. That's fine. I fucking love stream of consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what's up? What's your... Oh, the, did you guys like have like weird, like uh, kind of l- little niche drugs that people would mention offhandedly and you'd be like, yes. oh, that's a thing? Yes. Fucking probably and I just didn't know. I knew. Yeah? Yeah. Starburst bongs. Starburst? Yes, I had heard about Starburst those. Bongs. Starburst bongs. Starburst bongs. That, oh, I did hear about that actually. So when I was uh, when I was going, I, I went literally during the rise of people taking opioid and then mixing it with cough syrup and then making mega heroin. Oh, sure. And then creating mega AIDS. So <laughs> <laughs> that's you were there for the genesis. Of it. I was there. It's what's horrible is I was with you every step of the way, and I was like. This is fascinating. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You, you, you led me by the hand. I don't know if it was a drug or not, um, but I think it's funnier if it wasn't. I had a friend once. I was just hanging out at lunch, and he comes up to me, and he's got that, like, just kind of, like, tired look. He's kind of looking down. Mm-hmm. And then he, um, like, kind of rubs his nose. And so he's like, it just, and I was like, what's up? He's like, I just snorted Kool-Aid powder. Why? I was like, why is that a drug? He's like, no, it's actual Kool-Aid powder. <laughs> just not a drug. Yeah. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> and I, oh, what a, what a moron. I remember being, uh, um, when I was a freshman, and there was like a bunch of kids hanging out in the parking lot uh-huh. at uh, on Halloween night. And I was like, oh, what are all it's those? It's so lame. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's really dumb. What are all those older I kids say... doing? I was probably chick tree. Yeah. You were probably you were probably enjoying yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like an idiot. Um and I was like, oh, what are those older kids doing? I wanna be cool. And they're like, oh, it's devil's milk. It's going to make you see stuff like from that hand demon video on YouTube. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. That's it's a, a it's a it's By a the classic. guys from District Nine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they was it? The, they do the special effects for yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's it's a really good video. Actually. It's really great. Like, this, those effects, like, it's nuts. But, yeah. That's what I got. That's the end of that story, really. That's, I mean, I didn't, oh, okay. I didn't then take Devil's Milk and see Hand Demons forever. Yeah. No. I think even as a kid, I didn't want to take something made by a kid. You knew that that's, like, not <laughs> yeah. right. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Look, if I'm going to break the law. Yeah. If I'm going to take some. I want someone who's been doing it for, like, ever. Exactly. They can I've... measure out stuff. I want a guy who looks like Doc Brown. Yeah. <laughs> who's sitting in the back of an old house. Yeah. Just like... Yeah. Someone who has obviously has a system. Yes. Yes. And I want some kids just mixing NyQuil and, like, the fucking gunpowder from, like, Firecracker or something. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the, the worst fucking thing. I'm it's sorry. Cracker Jack. <laughs> That's the cracker jack. That's the cracker Does it jack. come with the prize? The prize is blindness. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you were thinking of the same thing. I was thinking of the same thing. Uh, comes in the box. <laughs> there was one that was really hard. I'm, I promise I'll get back to the other stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, talk about. No, know, we can we can stay here. Do you guys remember? Um, there was one. I don't remember. They had a name for it. I can't remember. And it was on the news for like. A year, a uh-huh. year long, that L.A. County was freaking out because kids were pissing and shitting in jars, then putting balloons over the jars to inhale the fumes. Like crocum or crock? Oh, uh, crockum, crock, crock. I don't fuck. Crankum, crankum. It's because uh, I know it's a thing now in like Russia, but like, is it? Yeah, I didn't know if it was ha- if if it was happening in high school. I just wasn't. I, I really didn't care. <laughs> Yeah. About the last seven so minutes. besides Starburst and then um I was really syrup, passive. The only, the only other thing I know of was um Nas. I think that was when people were Oh yeah, Nas. Yeah, I always thought it was the energy drink. I always <laughs> I always thought that it was something you put on your car at which yeah. someone said it kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah. Uh uh yeah. Whippets were a thing. Whippets yeah, Whippet Whippets never really bounced back yeah. from the seventies, but uh, I don't know why as a kid, I, I don't know. If it's true at all, if there's any stereotype or this, but I was associated with is with like a white person thing. Oh and yeah, and like just something you do on spring break. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, <laughs> do you still think it now? I don't know. I do because I didn't because the last time I heard it mentioned was just watching the Eric Andre show. Oh, so oh, and they oh, yeah. <laughs> did it with he, like Jack he proved you wrong. <laughs> so obviously, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he, he showed you that anyone can 
Sure yeah, my think. no shame on me for making a judgment. <laughs> you know what, guys? These <laughs> drugs are for people of all creeds, colors, yeah. and nations. Uh. <laughs> and that's why people have good diets with her- good diet of cocaine and heroin. That's right. Keeps you thin. If you want to be Damn Spring Breakers job. pretty, you better. You better. <laughs> that movie is so difficult to watch. Uh, yeah. Spring Breakers? Oh, I never seen it. It was. It was a. Uh, uh, oh shit. Uh. It's a guy from Tusk, right? No, it it was Eddie Long. It was like <laughs> Elon Musk. It uh, was Elon Musk. No, it wasn't Elon Musk. It <laughs> was like, wait, did he have an acting career? It was James Franco, and then like three Disney Channel girls, oh, okay. yeah. all trying to break out of that of spring break. thing, and then they become like sexy girls who rob banks in bikinis, and then he like does a blowjob on a gun in front of all of them, and then. Oh. Uh, and then, like, yeah. nothing happens? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a very strange film. Never watched. I'm not going to sit here and yeah, pretend you... like <laughs> Nick that I watched it. Um, uh, well, did you watch it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I, don't remember. I just saw the trailer. That's all I remember. It's been right I was like, no, I'm not going to watch yeah. that. So what else? Uh, I've Besides been... watching your grandparents watch it. <laughs> slowly, <laughs> slowly, slowly join cults. Um... I, I've been listening to another podcast called Atlanta Monster. It's made okay. by uh, the creator of Up and Vanished, which okay. I haven't listened to, but I've heard is like, You're great. Are you going to name drop? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> if anyone listens to Up and Vanished, it's yeah. like super popular uh, story about like uh, disappearing, uh, gr- a girl who disappeared. Uh, yeah. Atlanta Monster is more fun. It's about serial murder. It's more fun than that podcast you don't listen to? It's more fun than that thing I don't know about. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, now. sure. All um, right. Okay. So, really bad technical difficulties. We lost like 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't want to point fingers, but uh, it's the aliens. It's the, it's aliens. the aliens. It's yeah, the aliens. it's probably the aliens. They don't like when they we... They don't like when we talk about true crime. You know, they... <laughs> it's, there's a hand thing, hand, hand thing that aliens hate. Yeah. And that's hands. <laughs> yeah. Also, Alec Baldwin's episode was really good on comedians and cars getting coffee. Oh yeah, it was really good. You know that you know that part of the conversation's gone, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's <laughs> just, just pick up. Right, right, right. Up. I, okay. Where did we stop? <laughs> um, we stopped at uh, Ian was talking about the true crime podcast. Oh. So I'll just wrap that up, and then we'll jump into into right. your uh, music. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's historical fiction, and it's recreated, and uh, it's actually a very good a good podcast, yeah. and uh, it's framing a lot of killings that the LAPD did not uh, frame as a part of a serial killing as possibly a serial killing, okay. since it was the 1940s, and that wasn't really like a profile that people made in right. the 40s. So uh, listen to uh, Hollywood and Crime, wherever podcasts are procured by you anyway that's what i've been doing uh what about you man what, what have you been doing uh, nothing uh, <laughs> <laughs> no uh i'm uh, mostly a lot of music i think um we chris and i considered going to a uh, convention uh in pomona called retro gaming well retro i'm sorry retro city retro city fest fest yeah it was last, it was, well, this recording would be like... Don't take this. <laughs> <laughs> when this comes out, it'll be two weekends ago. A while ago. A yes. while ago. An age ago. <laughs> yeah. Eons ago. Eons! Eons ago. <laughs> when my first wife was still alive. I, yeah, how was that? No, we didn't go. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> we didn't go. I, <laughs> had, <laughs> I had to, but I was going to, we bought it. Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah, 
Damn. Which I play a little bit of, but Chris played way more, so I'll save that for him. No, last night. <laughs> <laughs> so because of that, um, one of the bands uh, Chris and I wanted to see, which was one of the major reasons reasons we wanted to go to Retro City, was uh, was there. And I guess when I started looking up his stuff, and he's like, oh, these are all stuff that people inspired inspired me for my music, I started, I started listening to them, and then uh-huh. basically that. And... Um, so one of the band, was, uh, the band you're talking about, Shredder 1984. Yeah, Shredder 1984. Just for, in case we didn't mention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, I thought we weren't gonna name drop. They're like, what are you talking about? When we talk about a band, you're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. should name drop. <laughs> Shredder 1984. What what's some of the bands that you have been investigating? Yes. Uh, I mean, one of them that caught my attention, I guess, was uh, Star Founder, um, mm-hmm. another uh, dark electronic uh, musician from Russia. Mm-hmm. But he's he's more on like the he's more leaning more towards retro where the ones we talked before like Carpenter Brute and Perch Bear, yeah. they had like a black metal and metal influenced. He's leaning more towards um like early eighties uh chip tune. Yes. Electronic music. Yeah. And uh he was really good. Uh, the new album Tribute was uh he had a couple before then I thought were I thought I guess I, I wasn't really uh, a big fan of, but I guess his last one he really changed he really changed the sound, which I really like. It's like with Scattle. Remember how like weird his stuff was earlier? Yeah. But then like... Horse and Raw is not that great. It's not really that good. But the last album he put out, he changed his sound too. Yeah, he's great. Like the last album was really fucking good from yeah, Scattle. Like, like solid... The stuff he did for uh, Fury. Oh, yeah. As well. Really good. Really fucking good. Yeah. And then... um, what else? Oh, I finally started listening to Dynatron. Oh, how's Dynatron. that? Uh... He he. I mean, pretty... one of the blood music synth wave guys I haven't you know, listened to that much. Yeah, I would recommend. Uh, he's more um, atmospheric, so it's a lot of. Um... Yeah. Doesn't 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 Dan Terminus like fucking love him? Yeah. Do yeah okay. Which I can see because his stuff is more atmospheric and it's, mm. it's honestly sounds like a soundtrack to a movie. He has a very theatrical mm. spin to it. Oh yeah. Which I really like. Um, I guess like you're not because when you think of blood music, it's a lot of like. Terminus and Perch uh-huh. mm-hmm. a lot of heavy stuff. His stuff is um, a lot more atmospheric. Okay, so I do recommend, um, even if you're not into electronic like, music, because he has a lot of other stuff going for it. Um, what else? Oh, um, I started. I started uh, reading One Punch Man. I st- I, I'm on volume eight now. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I I really like it. I mean, I like. I get what Chris was talking about before in the podcast with One Punch Man, where you were worried that like it was gonna be the joke was gonna like become its own. It was gonna become its joke, like yeah. It was gonna become the Shonen crap. And I think it is. Oh, it is. No, I don't know. I haven't. At least from what I've seen, like of later stuff. To be fair, to be perfectly fair, I have not gone past like uh, that first big like alien fight. Oh okay. Uh, well, how's how's uh, issue eight? How's it? Uh... No. Someone with the big alien fight. Yeah, the big alien fight. <laughs> and then, as spoilers, I guess, I don't know. He's basically, he has the big alien fight, and then everyone, everyone else, all the other superheroes are, like, yelling at each other. Mm-hmm. And then he just walks by, and he's like, oh, yeah, I killed it. I'm kind of tired. Can I go home? <laughs> and, yeah, and it's funny, but, like, at the same time, that's the joke every time. Yeah. And to the author's credit... Uh-huh. It started out as just pure gag manga and, like, would just do whatever it wanted. Yeah. But now it's, like, a shonen thing. Yeah. And that could go on forever. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. ever. Well, Bleach was supposed to be short, too. And is the... Is the anime still going on? Yeah, it's going. Because I know the manga... I don't know when season, the, did season two happen? Yes, it did. It did. Someone sent me a uh, gif of that fight. Yeah. Because the... I know the manga is done. Yeah, it's done. He's wrapped that up, but the... The online one or the printed showing one? The webcomic or... The printed one, I'm pretty sure. Bleach is done. Uh, Oh, Bleach. Yeah, I'm talking about Bleach. Oh, sorry. I was thinking of One Punch Man. Uh, No, I jumped rails. Yeah, Bleach Bleach died a horrible death. Um, That was really bad. (laughs) You have have three chapters to end this series. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was the exact Seriously? line. And it was just a repeat yeah. of, remember the Soul Reaper when we went, they had to go save her? Yeah. It was just that. that. So it was their first big mission again. Yeah. No background. 
I, I, I don't know if I've ever told you this. I highly recommend a video to you uh, called The Fall of Bleach uh, oh, okay. by Super Eye Patch Wolf. Um, okay, I'll check that out. It's fantastic just looking into that whole thing. Well, like, I remember when I was a youth, mm-hmm. I was like... Uh, you made mistakes. I made terrible, terrible errors. <laughs> well, because there was a certain amount of prestige for people in my circle. I know definitely not with you two. You, we've had this talk. Yeah. But there was a certain amount of prestige of like, oh, I stayed on this this manga. It's, it's been going on for like 400 chapters. I, yeah. I'm still reading it. I was like, oh, everything I like is, is like six and it's over. Yeah. Because they're like, good. Maybe. And they have endings. And see, but I, I, was, <laughs> I was in such a minority. I was like, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so I bought like the first three seasons of Bleach on DVD. And I was like, shit. I'm going to finish this whole thing. And I got to like seven. And I was like, this is fucking terrible. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> well, if you want to get that same experience, <laughs> you got to watch Log Horizon. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I saw it. I think eight episodes of Sword Art Online killed me enough, and apparently I didn't even get to the part where it really shits the bed, according oh. to people who like it. Jesus, I don't even liked it. Yeah, and I watch all of the first season, <laughs> and yeah, you're right. You actually left <laughs> off right before. Yeah, apparently, and I, and I already had the call of, oh no, this is garbage. Wait, well, <laughs> yeah, you hit the bottom of the dumpster, yeah. but like you didn't see the latch where it pulls up. And there's actually <laughs> I a didn't deeper see, dumpster. I didn't <laughs> see the hole that was eaten away by grease. And, like, <laughs> yeah, and then like the acid. And from it goes the... into the asphalt, the yeah. underground. Now, the one I have to mention, of course, is this is not a judgment on anyone that I'm very close to personally. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> They don't what, listen to this. What? Yeah, they don't. <laughs> one, one Piece. It's it's almost a thousand episodes, man, yeah. I think, yeah. at this point. And that's... That's, that's an accomplishment. That seems to say. <laughs> so punishing. How? How do you... That's like deciding I'm going to watch... Really, it's good. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, right? Like, I guess. <laughs> I'll never know. I'll never be able to. I'm never, ever going to catch up yeah. with that. Well, it has to be the best ever. If you made 800 episodes, exactly. it yeah. has to be the best. 800 episodes and like four or five movies or something like that? Yeah. It's, yeah maybe, dude. I don't know. I don't, like, but in the same vein, like, Adventure Time's only eight seasons. You should really watch yeah. that, though. It's like... And I heard only, like, 20 episodes matter. I guess if you want to jump around <laughs> like that, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I like Is that. it true I should skip that first season? Because I've been told by multiple people at this point uh, that you... if I ever do do it, I skip I skip the first season. I guess. Everything that you need to know from season one is kind of contextual from season two. Okay. So you could just start season two. I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm never gonna start it, but yeah. <laughs> I just, but I was curious with you what what the answer would be. I like, the, uh, I like the episode with the deer, his hands. Jesus, that's horrifying. Yeah, it's, there's an episode where uh, everyone in the. I know that Chris yeah. is gonna roll his eyes at me right now. <laughs> everyone in the Candy Kingdom gets kidnapped and disappears yeah. uh-huh. after uh, yeah. Finn has both his legs broken, okay. and so he has to do like a misery kind of deal where he's yes. like hobbling around. Yeah, and then of course. It, it turns out that the villain at the end is just a deer, mm-hmm. who's kept everyone in like these nightmare bindings in the sewer. Okay, and it gets more and more like, oh, this is less fun and cute, and this is just creepy. Yeah, and then the deer cannot talk because it's a deer, but it's on hind legs, and then it turns around and pulls its hooves off and has like f- tiny little fingers underneath. How does it pull its hooves off if they're both hooves? It pushes the hooves <laughs> off the way you do shoes. Remember in Dream Collection, Chris, and Sonic, when the thing and the thing happens and the thing falls yeah, off? Yeah, don't, don't go into detail because I still want to be there when Ian um, watches, uh, well, goes through that. Yeah, don't worry about it. I have to be in the same room. Oh, Jesus. We can do it together. We can all do it together right now. <laughs> You want to you want to watch it real quick? Uh, <laughs> you got an hour in. That's lo- as long as it's gonna have, take. Do we have a clip? <laughs> Let's roll. Uh, I'll pull up the scene and edit it in here, and just so you would know what I'm talking about. But Ian will never watch it. And then, oh, yeah. oh, it would be just funny if you put it in and then immediately cut to me screaming hysterically. That'd be real. That... Mm-hmm. So what else? Who's to say I don't have a soundbite of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
I mean, uh, Chris and I sat down and watched the first two two episodes yeah. of Devil Devil Man Cry Baby. Oh, Netflix. it looks so good. Yeah. Oh, you ever seen it? I just have. We haven't gotten a chance to watch the rest. I've just seen really. little bits of people. Or like, I've been prioritizing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lower. The most violent sex I've ever seen, but just like bits. That of first it. episode was great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, I will say that plot goes at breakneck fucking speed, though. Yeah. Um, so I'm not making a judgment call on it yet, because it could all. If it works out in the end, then it's fine. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, then yeah, that thing's going crazy fast plot wise. How many episodes are season one? It's ten. 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 Okay. And the first two feel like six. Oh wow. Like so much shit happens in those first two episodes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. At the same time it's visually it's amazing and um I'm glad it exists. Yeah. And I'm it's like well the director is known for it right, but it's still it's still just a breath of fresh air. Um mm-hmm. especially in nowadays with the way anime has been conformed to look. Yeah. Or Tends to look. I mean, there's definitely differences, but still. Well, these were kind of like that too. Everyone looked like Stallone, worried out. Yeah. Well, not that there's any problem with that, but I mean, like. Not there's anything wrong with it. Guys, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I really was impressed by the art style. It's beautiful. That's great. Yeah. You know That's the guy great. who did? Have you seen Mind Game? No, I've never seen. That. Oh, it's basically the same. It's the same director. He did Mind Game. He did, and he did some episodes of Tommy Galaxy. Um, oh, okay, okay. He had a couple I'm going blank on that I really liked. Um, just trust me on This director that. directed some stuff. I'm he directed not... some stuff that... He put that some images in a sequence. Yeah. He did He did a thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did a thing, and now he's doing this. Yeah, he did a thing, and then look at him now. <laughs> Where are we right now? We're in a place or a location. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it wasn't where you were before. <laughs> we're in a different time. Because time marches forward. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you've been reading One Punch. Been... Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So it's because of Devil Man Cry Baby, I thought, oh man, well I got to go back and reread Devil Man again. Okay. And then you instead read One Punch Man, or no, I did both. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not I, I, thought the, I thought there was a link. But... <laughs> he's a, he's an able-bodied person. He can, he can do all kinds of things. <laughs> Just the way you're setting it up. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I... That art's great, right? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's still it's great. It's different, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, for both. I mean, One Punch Man's manga art is amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yes. Well, it's funny because they both... Um, well, One Punch Man rotates its artists, too. Oh, really? Yeah, he has really? different... He, he has, yeah, he has different assistants from time to time. Is that uncommon for manga i feel like that is for for manga i don't know um for long-running anime i mean it goes through studios and studios and they get different for long-running manga yes it 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 happens just because it's so fucking long yeah Yeah. someone has to take a break or else they will die (laughs) yes yeah i mean that's what happened with naruto yeah did he die no he didn't die oh um but boruto it's written by his pro by uh, the original author's protege. Uh huh. Yeah. Every time someone says that, or I read it on a post, because I was Boruto. in Boruto. Boruto and salad was it? Written? Salada. Salada. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's dumb. It's <laughs> really icky. Uh, <laughs> I I was in Little Tokyo and I saw a poster for it and mm-hmm. I was just like I was. His head is shaped like an apple. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, make it stop. Make Stop doing this. Yeah. Hey, think about it this way. Naruto is now known as Boruto's dad. That's not... Na- that's... Oh, my God. <laughs> and, like, what was it? Uh, what's her name yeah, from... Yeah, you feel old now. From the tuning exams, uh, the pur- the purple hair, the fishnet. She was, Anko? Uh, yeah. She gained, like, 50 pounds, like, 60 or 70 pounds in Boruto. <laughs> oh, Jesus. To be fair, isn't it, like... 20 years later or yeah. something? We're not all like she we were. She was like an adult? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all having a stressful yeah, time. fuck off. Everyone, like, no, people bad. get old. It just surprised me. Just, wow, she really let herself go. This pretend lady. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's worse because then someone drew her that way. So like, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's someone's like, yeah. Oh but no! But then they could be thinking of it like me, and in my mind, uh, old people always deteriorate and have to look worse. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was going the other way where he just has a real, real thing for ladies that are of and a bigger size. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I bet she's like 180, 190. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's yeah. plus size. Yeah, yeah, that's plus size for for Japan. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Being old is twenty two. I always, I always say it. I always, I always love it. Uh, the moment I found out Kawakami in Persona Five, this old this lady who's already worn out and burned out in life is twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> He's voiced by Yukari in P three. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. He cares. Kawakami's better. We don't need to talk about you, Kari. Kawakami's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she's I, a teacher in Burnout oh, at shit. 24. <laughs> okay. And I'm here. What am I doing? <laughs> I mean, if she's dead, no, like, what no. are you? What does that make us? Like, okay, so students. I don't know how teaching credentials work in Japan, but here, uh, like, she. She would have had to go on a breakneck speed, yeah, in order to become a teacher, and burned out. Um, For her story in the in the game, there has to at least be one year. Oh, I had a, in order for that student to affect her life. Oh, I had a professor in college. I mean, she she was, was a teacher at twenty three. <laughs> Actually, had a, actually had a professor. She was twenty three. Well, maybe so it's possible. Maybe she did yeah, like possible. honors she was, classes she was in high schools teacher. and jumped ahead in college. Yeah, I mean, yeah. She was, wait, she's a professor. Are you sure she's not just um? No, she's a professor. A okay, school? but is she is she trying to get her master's degree? Because some schools, when you try to get your master's, mm-hmm. you have to teach. Uh, yeah, part of the doctorate yeah. or master's program is teaching a class. Mm-hmm. I don't really know. I just remember that she wasn't a nice person. I don't want to see her again. Good call. Good okay. call. I yeah. hope she listens. <laughs> Fingers crossed, old people. I always want to talk about shit. Uh, I would talk about shit. I want to talk shit about somebody and then just have them listen. I would love it. to do that. Yeah. Let's talk shit about somebody right okay. now. Okay, uh, you guys know Matt? Yes. He used to do a channel with? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What an asshole. What <laughs> that guy. guy. Uh, Man. Ugh. Like, here's about bas- is basketball now. Well, you know, better, bigger and brighter things, right? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. He said he was going to listen to his podcast and support me. He instead he listens to five different basketball podcasts. Ah, he likes basketball. Yeah. Oh. The best part is he knows it's like just uh, common. Like it's the most it's commented commentary, commentary yeah. ever. He's like, dude, it's worse than you think. Like he'll <laughs> say, like, oh, he he's all he's got to do is put the ball in the basket. That's all he's got to do. <laughs> Wow, he really wants that ball and that basketball. And whenever, whenever I hear it, I go, man, I think I could become a basketball player. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> well, man, we, it, you, you've got this amazing life, and yeah. he's got balls and Kristaps Porzingis. That's my only basketball <laughs> reference I know. That's my one basketball. He's a Czech guy who yeah. got two rap songs made about him. He's driving down the court like O.J. Simpson driving down that Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what's that announcer? He says oh, that's like football. That. He's always yelling. Uh, oh, uh, the football guy I was yeah. talking about? Oh, shit. That Irish dude. I can't remember his name. Well, I know the... Who oh, cares? Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal exist like, for basketball commentary. <laughs> oh, yeah. and then... I don't even give a shit about basketball. I'll just watch those two. Like... Just say talk. weirdly yeah. obvious things and then just talk about yeah. other stuff and yeah. then shag uh, du- uh, bubble wrap himself to a chair yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh my god and then they're having a serious conversation about whether or not huh. uh, players should be allowed to free throw in like certain in certain uh, in certain games and and Shag's like in the in the chair wrapped up. He's like, no, no, old school basketball, one on one, money, money. And then having a serious conversation. So in in if what we learned is Matt's a fucking asshole, yeah, and yeah. he's a sheep. sheep. Oh, here here is why I think Matt's a sheep. He he's just terrible. Here's my thesis. Yes. <laughs> he cannot not he cannot not buy uh, the new NBA 2K games. Ugh. Or the WWE games, which he knows are terrible. He and knows the same thing over and terrible. over. Terrible. Yeah. And they're the same thing over... And they always somehow fuck up something else. Yeah. Um, and, he, and the reasoning he once gave me was, uh, oh, I have to do it because there's nothing left. 
the, Jesus. Like, there's no, there's no in other, general, or? there's no other option oh. for basketball games. Oh, basketball. oh, I thought it was like yeah. I'm, I've oh, accepted right, the really... deep void of nihilism. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing left. Uh, I have to do this. I have to get Tim Curry on a card. No, 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 he's definitely not nihilist. Uh, um, <laughs> but it's like. But then I go, but that's part of the problem, Matt. <laughs> People keep buying them. Yeah, yeah, keep exactly. giving Spike Lee a career. No one yeah. wants that. No, no one, one wants that. Yeah. I Boy, then Spike Lee took a fucking turn. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, is, he on, is he directing Precious too? I know Magic Johnson's oh, going to be in it. Oh, man. I felt so bad for... Uh, I feel bad. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I feel double bad. I forgot your name, uh, film critic woman from the internet. Uh, and he just like laid into that girl at uh, yeah. at uh, Chirac. That was a bad time. Oh man. yeah, that was a bad time. I remember that. That was terrible. So, I, oh go ahead. I was going to ask you uh, if we could, if I could mention briefly a sports thing that I know nothing about. Sure. And then... I just want to yeah. uh, put a period on this and that. Sure. Matt's an asshole, and he is a sheep. Same. Oh yeah, he is a Kurt Vonnegut esque anus. Yes. That, uh, will punctuate the end of a chapter. Guess what he did? He instead he's listening to a basketball podcast. Now, and we says I'm gonna write in the description. Uh, fuck you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see. Also, we say he's a terrible character. He's she's the worst persona. Uh, Link. She's a right. far. Yeah. And anyone who likes her is wrong and likes basketball podcasts. <laughs> but, but uh, but Kanji. Mm. Oh, how about that? Kanji is legitimately one of the most interesting characters in Persona. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Oh, uh, because you... Just keep making enemies. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, up for this, man. Uh, you two are big fans of wrestling. Yes. Yeah. That's I don't follow as close as I probably should. But. Uh, I just heard that um, Vince McMahon... Okay. I don't want to say the wrong... Vince McMahon. From it is WWE. Vince McMahon. Okay, Vince McMahon. McMahon. Yeah. He's a person. Uh, hey boy, is he? Uh, he's doing. He's bringing back. But are we sure, though? Is he a real <laughs> person, or is he an Anunnaki, one of the aliens who <laughs> register, <laughs> who bring us into a golden age? Is that like an actual? That's a real thing. Oh, that's amazing. Is he okay. a gatekeeper? Go ahead. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon just announced that in 2020. Uh, WWE will be well, not WWE, but like his production company. Uh-huh. They're bringing back the XFL. Wow. Uh, which extreme is extreme football league. Extreme football league. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it'll be it'll be eight teams, uh, and it'll be like brand new, uh, like I guess stadiums and teams. He will uh-huh. be wrangling to try and compete with the NFL league. Um, Good luck. Good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, well, the NFL league's like super corrupt and like. Yeah. Uh, just doesn't give a shit about their players. Well, Absolutely. Who will work for them. Well, as long so. as they sell their Greek yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. I kind and they of. They don't actually care about breast cancer, but. They don't. They don't care about breasts at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Except man titties. Yeah. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these. Take this, does, this doesn't work for audio <laughs> at all. <laughs> So I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens. Oh just, yeah, I'll probably see because I, mean, I, I I hope it's fake. I hope it's staged. Uh, I was just <laughs> gonna say I hope it's staged. Oh my good god, good god Almighty! Oh. <laughs> like fights break out. Oh, uh, I would love break. that so much. Mm. That all sport. I'll watch it. All sport should just become theater. Yeah, I would love that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the. Uh... As a couple of writers in theater. <laughs> yeah. <guys. laughs> San Diego Rhinos are taking on the, uh, I don't know, uh, Pensacola Game Hens. Yeah, Pensacola. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's a place. Is it? Could be. Who knows? There's I only don't. eight teams. We're going to have to combine. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up are the Red Foreskins. I also like, there's only, I did say only eight teams, and I was like, the eight major cities, <laughs> San Diego, <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania. The, the eight teams of the League of Evil. <laughs> Albany. Albany. <laughs> <laughs> Normal Illinois. <laughs> That's a real place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like his twin brother's going. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, 
damn. Um, so I don't know enough about football to really make an intelligent comment on that, other than I'm really interested to see what McMahon <laughs> is going to do. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Man, have you seen Japanese wrestling recently? That shit's getting crazy. Recently? No. Uh, describe in what way Japanese wrestling is special compared to other wrestling. There's a wrestler whose whole bit is that he was a man who was raised by horses. He was abandoned by humans. Oh, yeah, you show me this fucking video. Then that. he was raised by horses. Then the horses abandoned him. And then he was found <laughs> by a coach. A wrestling. <laughs> he was abandoned three times. <laughs> three times he was abandoned. I, I want nothing more than to stop this podcast right now and watch that video. It was amazing. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen the gif of someone pulling a gun out during a fight? Yes. <laughs> it's like my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the Marty McFly one's still the best. Still, oh, the time time splitters. Yeah, or not time splitters. Time, it's time. It's probably time splitters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's well, pretty cool. Anything else? Yeah. What else? Uh, what else? That's it. Uh, that's <laughs> okay. It. Cool. All right. What, what did I? What did I do as we were looking at time here? Um. I did stuff. Cool. <laughs> What'd you do? What I did uh-huh. by Chris. Mm-hmm. For Chris. <laughs> mm-hmm. and for the for the great people of Pensatucky and that glorious nation. The beautiful city <laughs> city state of Pensatucky. City, beautiful city nation of Pen- <laughs> Pensatucky. I did things. I'm so fucking tired. And the reason I'm tired... Yes. It's called Segway, people. Great segue. <laughs> is because I stayed up playing Monster Hunter Worlds. Oh, I man. I did it. Fuck it yeah. It just <laughs> came out. It just came it out. It came out. It just Chris. came out. <laughs> I waited all fucking day for Amazon to drop it off at my doorstep. Um, mm-hmm. Because we all share Prime at my place. And it is like fifteen bucks off if you oh, order the game. Nice. So I have to save myself money. It wouldn't have been a problem if I had downloaded because then I could start a whole night earlier. Mm. So that was it. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> I literally, like I started. Fuck, dude. It was. I have like eight hours on that thing, and I've only played it one night. Jesus Christ! I stayed up. You've actually night. not slept at all. I did. Well. It's like a nap yesterday. It was like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. And then like two hours after that, I played. Sleep is the week. Sleep yeah. is for the week. Sleep is for the week. And uh, so here's the thing. I've, I haven't i played um, the Monster Hunter game since 2, which was a PS2 one, I believe. Yeah, it's one we played. Yeah. Um, or then might have been one. Whatever. I haven't played one since then. Yeah. Uh, and I always knew it's one of those series that I would totally just like sink my teeth into. Uh, mm-hmm. Um, if not for just how big of a time sink it is. It's not even just learning how everything works, because I feel like I could do that if I just buckle down. Uh, it's just knowing the amount of time that's going to be going into that thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I did buy Monster Hunter 4 for the 3DS. Mm -hmm. It's still shrink-wrapped. I never opened it. (laughs) And I thought, oh, I'll buy this one. This one looks great. And, like, it'll probably play well because the controller, guess what? It does. And it's really fun. And it's a super pretty. And none of the lips sync up to the dialogue. <laughs> and it's amazing. And my cat sounds like it's dying every time it takes a hit. <laughs> what? But I made it that way. Yeah. <laughs> you what? can choose cat voices. And I chose the oldest, most, like, die, like old, old cat that I could find. And then I drop the pitch all the way down so it almost sounds like a gurgle every time like it takes a hit mm-hmm. and it's amazing i love it mm-hmm. i call them snowball the third <laughs> and what do you call yourself oh uh, my character is human in case you ever see <laughs> what a creative <laughs> i'm a creative person <laughs> what's your name private human <laughs> and he's a he's an old yeah kind of good looking like 
Silver Fox almost. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. Who uh, has a nasty scar over his left eye that he got from what he thinks is the Cathaga. And, the, <laughs> and that's the forewarn, everyone. Wait, I thought it was the right. And the, no, the Cathaga. No, no, the, the, the eye. I thought it was the right. No, the, the, the eye is given to him by a ritual gone awry for the Cathaga. Okay, <laughs> that's where I messed up. It's easy to get tripped up on these, these yeah. things. It actually reminds me Man, of... I wonder if anyone's going to know what the Cathaga is. <laughs> well, you know, if this was, like, a written piece of fiction, one of us wouldn't know what that was, <laughs> and we'd have to explain it. Yeah. That's crazy. But we all know what it is. Good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Never going to say what the Cathaga is. Good? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, my character, at least in my head, he, free, he tries to relate it all to the Cathaga, and, like... Because yeah, why do we hunt monsters, Ian? Because they're big, giant monsters, and they have to fucking die. That's why. Ugh. Because humans wipe are... out species. Yeah, they're the they're the superior. Clearly. If anything, it makes me think about um, uh, a really dumb cartoon when I was a kid. Um, and if I the Cathaga. Oh. No, it was it was uh, that cartoon Billy and Mandy. Oh, okay. Cartoon's um, amazing. What are you talking about? It's a great. It's yeah. Remember, ahead of its time. You don't have to be afraid of people just because they're different than you. You should be angry at them. Yeah. Why aren't they like you? <laughs> what, I have to adjust myself <laughs> to their life. <laughs> Thanks, inner frat boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a great plot device, and I don't know why it wasn't brought back as a regular thing. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to tell you anything you don't know. Because I'm imaginary. So. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yes. That's. The <laughs> um, so, eight hours on the Cathaga. Eight hours! Good God. With Hugh Man and his lovely cat, Snowball the Third. Um. <laughs> So was it was it worth waiting? Hell yeah, it was dude. That game is like so fucking fun, mm. and just time passes by, man. Before I knew it, it was like one in the morning. I went, oh, I'm gonna make myself some coffee, <laughs> and I drank, <laughs> made myself some fucking coffee, some Mario Times Black House, mind you, Ooh. root plantation shit, and like mm. drank that. Mm. Stood up, and before I knew it, it was five in the morning, and I went, well, I can't take a nap now. The sun's coming up. <laughs> you just kept trucking. I kept trucking. Drink another cup of coffee at like eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. Something. Uh, so yeah. I, my only question is, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am, Ian, and I told you why earlier. Yeah, I it's believe because, you. <laughs> it's because because I, at least for this year, I have not pulled an all-nighter because I wanted to. Yes. It has always been because work piles up, and I have to take care of something at some point. Um, this was the first time I felt like I was in control of my life, and I sat down and I played some fucking video games all night long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that if you keep this up, you just, you know, sleep only on weekdays. Yes. And mm-hmm. then keep the, you know, keep work and all that for mm-hmm. then. And then Saturday, Sunday... And Monday morning, that's just for you to hunt monsters. <laughs> Sleep is for the week. Sleep is for the week. And me, because I slept. Yeah. A little bit. You're going to... Uh, I I would never wish ill upon anyone, but one day I'm going to get a text from your brother and it's just going to be like, yeah, he just he just started like having all these sleep apnea things. <laughs> like, he'll walk somewhere and then drop to the floor. It's really weird. <laughs> he foams at the mouth and he lays down. He's not even asleep. Also, he's doing some weird chanting when he sleeps. I, I don't understand it, but something about the sl- sloth yog. So I don't I don't know. You got the uh, thaga. <laughs> 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 Oh, I think he's having a nice dream. <laughs> God, the way you climb in that. The way you climb in, in Monster Hunter Worlds, if you're uh, just dashing, mm-hmm. it looks so jank. Like, it, it's not... It's like a good kind of jank. It's like... Okay. 
Because it looks like he just hops really fast and then stops real quick because the animation has to reset and then just keeps hopping and like <laughs> <laughs> and then and then uh, we had a fun moment where it's like man how did this old man ever survive <laughs> and he's just crawling <laughs> like that, like a fucking cockroach like just scaling walls. I feel like if I ever actually saw an old person do that, I would be convinced that hell is real and I, <laughs> I have to repent. <laughs> In fact, that he's not on fire near a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That scene happens on top of a, a monster that is basically a walking volcano. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Gotta kill him. Kill all the monsters. They all gotta die. Uh, anything else, or is it... Yeah, I like... also played uh, a little bit of Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Okay. It's a new Dragon Ball fighting game by Arxis. Uh, that game is amazing. And it's so fucking fun to do combos in. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into that as well. Okay. So I have two games. <laughs> just On top of that, I never finished Xenoblade Chronicles 2. You really have to. You yeah. really have to. And I, yeah. Oh my god. Also, I'm doing my senior paper. <laughs> oh yeah, you're doing your symposium, aren't yeah. you? Oh Jesus Christ. Got to do it all on Murakami. Oh, what? Yeah. That actually sounds really fun. Yeah, I've, I'm reading my second book by, that I've ever read from him. What is it? Uh, the first one I read was Wild Sheep Chase. Okay. And then um, we took a break and we read... We took a break, but we just read a different genre, and it was uh, Chandler's uh, The Big Sleep. Okay. Which I had read before, but now I read it in like... It's honestly. still a good book. No, it's good. It's, good it's, book. it's really good. Um, then I read... Well, now I'm reading uh, Hard Boiled Wonderland Ooh. and the End of the World. Okay. Which is like super experimental. Okay. Super just about his mind. I haven't finished it yet. I'm supposed to finish it by Tuesdays. Well, I'm sure you'll like it. Yeah. Let me, let me know no, what I dig you it. think about it. Uh, I will. I will say Wild Sheep Chase Chapter 15 is fucking awesome and. I love it, and I'm in love with everything about that chapter. Is it that is it that thing that he does where he just inserts a weird piece of like supernatural something? No, uh, 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 no, it's the least supernatural. Oh, okay. <laughs> chapter in that. Okay. Because it's literally just the character realizing um, that he, uh, the world has passed him up. Wow. Yeah, and if we know anything about my tastes from Fully Coley. I love that shit. Yeah, you, <laughs> you eat that, you gobble that shit down. <laughs> I love, I love seeing people go through broken. midlife crisis and becoming broken. You gotta relate to them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and for one of my classes, we had to pull up like, oh, just pick, pick a piece of literature that you really like to sell. And I picked that. And one of my reasoning was, uh, to be fair, I'm a huge fan of just watching people uh, breaking and. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a great one. And realizing mm-hmm. and realizing their place in the world, and that that place has been, is in the past now, and That's... there's no future. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. I can't get enough. Mm-hmm. Throws that beer can good. Anyway, <laughs> chapter fifteen. Wow, she chase. I, I I will read that one. I I've been meaning to pick up on more of him. I really liked After Dark. Is one of my favorite ones. Okay. Norwegian. I don't know if I have to read that. I have Nor- I have a copy of Norwegian Wood. Norwegian Wood is. If you like broken people, yeah, you'll have a real good time then. Well, I heard some stuff about Falcon on the Shore, and I really want to look forward to that. Because that one's supposed to be, like, almost balls to the wall crazy. Uh, Conquer on the Shore and Wind Up Bird Chronicle are pretty out there. Cool. But they're great. They're I'll have to read both of those. I know that for that for me. Have you read Norwegian Wood? or No. I have it. It's super short compared to some of the other really? stuff. Really? Yeah, I remember it being pretty thin. Uh, I'll check. Because Wild Sheep Chase so far it seems to be the shortest thing. Yeah. I think uh, Norwegian well, Woods like two thirty. Okay, that's mm-hmm. not. Yeah, no. Do you have a favorite from him? Probably the After Dark, just because it's the first one I read. Okay, and it it I think it sets a good tone for his work because uh-huh. if you read, uh, I haven't actually finished all of one eight Q. Fuck, that's not the title. Yeah, no, you know, I, know, I know which one you're talking about, you know but I don't remember what it's called. It's a really thick book. It's like 1,600 yeah. pages. Whoa. Um, but I think After Dark sets up a good tone for, like, uh, it's, it's, it's episodic moments of people in Tokyo at night whose lives kind of overlap slightly. Oh, okay. And how 
it's 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 like uh, it's like a novel version of the painting Nighthawks. I think is a good okay. thought. There's little glimmers of light where people actually connect, mm -hmm. but generally it's people unable to form connections to even though they want to, they just don't have the ability uh -huh. to do that. Um, and then they're just so broken inside. Uh -huh. And then there's also a serial killer in it, uh, which is. Super fun, but uh, I also like about what I like about his style is that there isn't. How do I want to phrase that? Do you, Do you notice that he has plot lines sometimes that just come up and then vanish? Yeah, but it never seems like it's wasted. But they all, yeah, they are. They all seem to serve purposes. Yeah, even if, in my opinion, it's just a plot device. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the girl in a wild sheep chase being the most obvious one. I think she's well utilized. Yeah. But that is to me a very obvious uh, plot device for getting that character to do something. Yes. Uh, although apparently she has more active role in Dance Dance Dance, which is a sequel to that. Yes. Uh, which I'll probably have to read at some point. But like, so that's one thing is like even within uh, Norwegian Wood, Norwegian Wood and After Dark both are good examples of like novels wherein a character or a whole plot thread of an mm -hmm. idea will crop up kind of go on for th three or four chapters yeah. and then go away because he's done with that idea it themat he's good at keeping things thematically tied together yeah. but in a linear kind of western tradition i think editors would be like cut that yeah that doesn't end up going anywhere it's like no 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 see see like it's yeah. it's parallelism uh, but it, it it he is structurally super different than most western writers i think uh i don't know i don't know if it's in that different he's definitely very different from japanese writers or eastern writers. oh yeah totally and that's because he just tends to write in a western style uh, yeah and like, and all the character and all the characters and traditions done in there are so different and outliers from normal like societal like societal norms in Japan. That's true, and that's probably because of his background. We did a lot of like history of him. Mm. Um, actually, like so far, I'm workshopping my thesis of just doing something on Japan's this fascination with uh, people being dissociated mm. with the world. Because that way I could talk about fully fully and just <laughs> <laughs> and slip it into an essay. Yeah, what's with these fucking characters? Not like what is what's what's the yeah. deal? You got? <laughs> Can I ask you? I, sure. I genuinely I I believe I think that when I read Mirakami, I feel like he also has a like a lot of early twentieth century Latin American influence in his writing. In mm. in the way that uh, I wouldn't know enough. In the way that characters respond to the surreal or the bizarre uh -huh. and the magical, all that stuff, like mm -hmm. there's a there's a theme in like a lot of uh, Mexican and uh, Brazilian and uh, other South America. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, but um, the, in in their fiction, there's like magical fiction, magical realism from the uh -huh. tens to the thirties, okay. and it's just like people who are like, oh, and then a witch. Turned my sister into frogs because I was rude to her. Yeah. You know, like, that happens. Yeah, and the, the people are just like, oh, yeah, the magical exists yeah. a as a part of our boring real life also. So I know that's a thing. I just, I, I, don't, I don't think I've read a novel that's, like, actually from that time period and from there. A Hundred Years of Solitude would probably yeah. be... Oh, maybe. Uh, throw in... Uh, um, the short stories of... Possible. of uh, also, for anyone listening, if you like short fiction, uh, try the short stories of Bunuel. Uh, he's he's really good at the oh. writer. And he does, like... Oh, and then my wife exploded into flames because I didn't do sex on her enough. You know. Yeah. You know. Okay. That thing. Yeah. Sounds interesting. That's how it works. Hey, you married fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't want to burst in the flames. Okay, speaking of short stories, did you ever read um, the 21st Century Story? No, but I, I have it on my wish list, and I'm going to order a copy. Oh, okay. I'm going to order a copy. He. Uh, I can tell you for sure the two stories I would want you to read. 
are the waters from waters waters of Meriva, and then I think the other one's called like Zombrex or something. But okay, um, I have to double check the title. Okay, it's uh, I but found that's another philosophical thing we can talk about. As soon as I get it, I'll I'll jump ahead, do those two, and then we can talk okay. about it next time. Okay. Um. So what else did I do? You saw Shape of Water. I talked about it on the last... Wait, oh. no, I talked about it on the last podcast. Yeah, we talked about we it on the last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah you weren't here. Oh, sorry. You were very quiet the whole yeah, time. Yeah, you were very quiet. You weren't here mentally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You were here spiritually. Oh. Not mentally. Okay. No. Your hearts and, and your heart and soul was here. Your organs were here, but... <laughs> but you were... Uh... But your mind wandered. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I bet. Go ahead. I covered my tracks pretty well. Anyway. <laughs> so what else, Chris? Uh, I mean, fuck, I still got to read my copy of Kill Six Billion Demons Volume 2. Um, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure. <laughs> no, it sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, did I ever talk about Father of Light? Oh, shit. Fuck. You want me to get that? Yeah, just pick it up real quick. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Phone. It was nobody. I'll leave that shit in. That was like... Not that long. Yeah, I'll plug it. It's fine. <laughs> How do they know I'm here? Yeah. Professional. Um, What was I going to... Uh, You haven't got to read Six Billion Demons, but... Did I talk about Father of Light on here? Yeah, you did a bunch yeah. of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, did I talk about The Muppet Show? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So is that it? (laughs) Guess so. I'm not. It's not that interesting. Well, Uh, then we could do what you're looking forward to, I guess. Uh, well, did you guys want to do like a little quick story? I guess. Sure. You guys have anything? I have like a real quick one. Go ahead. It's because um, Ian, you work with children. Uh huh. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That never doesn't sound weird, but yeah. Yeah. Even though I would love saying it because uh, whenever someone asks me, because one, it sounds weird, but two, it's like automatically they go, oh shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I had, um, I was, I had a co, I had a, I had a friend who, she was also, she was a co worker, I guess, since I don't work there anymore. Um, even though she, whatever, it's fine. Uh, she messages me, uh, like one of the kids um, just goes, Hey, remember Mr. Chris? Uh, I always roasted him. And uh, really? and she sends me that text. She's like, it's so fucking weird. And I go, tell him I call him a punk-ass bitch. <laughs> and, like, that was the thing. And and, <laughs> and I was so quick and ready to, <laughs> to say that. Uh, I'm sure she didn't tell, but in my opinion, it's like, man, someone can use that against me. And yeah. then I really thought about it and went, yeah. Oh well, I'm just gonna burn that bridge because you know? I was like, I, I was, I was pretty done with that place. So I don't, I don't yeah, what are you fuck. gonna do at this point? I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm like fairly confident we're gonna teach your thing. Um, but if, in case I do, I'm sorry, future Chris. I really uh, any prospects by this. And then repeating it here. Yeah, repeating. <laughs> I want to make sure it's public. Like you want to, I, I don't just burn the bridge to the ground. I make sure to bury those ashes. Mm-hmm. And make sure whatever lumber company is <laughs> to build them is also vandalized. <laughs> yeah. oh. And I write inappropriate graffiti on it so it can never be built. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, fuck that kid. Um. <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. I've never, if like. I've never been roasted. <laughs> I'm the fucking king. You don't even know. I'm the sun god. <laughs> I am the second coming. Because I do, I have like no idea of what, you what? Even, yeah, what situation he's even like. Uh, I don't know. Kids say weird shit. Like kids say kids are fucking stupid, and yeah, they terrible. should all be just thrown into a ditch, mm-hmm. and only the strongest should be allowed to walk among us. Just like the Spartans, exactly. Just like the Spartans. Yeah. Um, Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to rant about children and how shitty they are. Uh, I mean, we all were. So. Okay, here's like one of the real fucked up things about what that job did to me. Yeah. What um, I, one, I could not wait to 
have those kids have something horrible happen to them in life like something something that you know changes a person like that uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> that like they realize their place in the universe and how, how like small, small it are. is yeah mm-hmm. yeah um and two oh. well here's the thing i found myself naturally drawn to kids who did mm-hmm. and i was like man these kids are way better <laughs> i kind of hope shitty things happen to the other kids. <laughs> like, okay because one of my favorite kids to talk to was this kid finally realizing oh like on an existential level mm. we're not even the center of the we're not the center of the solar system we're not the center of the universe mm-hmm. we're on this some um, weird outlying yeah and it actually doesn't matter and i went yeah yeah I went that's kind of kind of depressing eh? and i went man it's gonna get so much fucking worse <laughs> <laughs> well, what's well, kind of a weird thing to do because it's like i mean we have to think about what does matter because you, you can yeah. no 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 i don't want to teach him positivity oh, <laughs> oh shit okay no you just walked away yeah. just break them i just, did <laughs> just walk away. i really did <laughs> no, so dude i you should have seen me those last days man i was i was fucking done like i had given up on those children pretty quickly yeah. um for, so to anyone for, who says never give up on the fucking children fuck you work with them so, so was like, it so you was, do it then yeah so was it like a like a slow like burn until like well i'm done that's it or was it like one day like that's it i'm done no one day it was you know up. what oh um yeah i'm calling in i quit yeah that's what it was that's literally what i remember sitting at school like uh doing some homework and i went oh i have work today and then I called and went, oh, I quit. <laughs> like, uh, maybe they're right there. Yeah. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. I deliver furniture. <laughs> That's fine. Moving on up. Moving on up. Yeah. To the big time. Oh, my God. I don't know. I guess. Mm. <laughs> uh, Is there any, any shit on children? For, any, uh, any shitting on children? Uh, yeah. I, uh, do you want me to go or do you want to? Yeah, you go. You go. Oh, okay. Um... So, Ian, you know, before you talked about on the podcast, you had a party in your life. You went to a party and you hated everyone there and you didn't want to be there. Yeah. I had that, too. I had that. And also, but now that I That was I my had, first story. Yeah. But now I have one myself. Oh, please. I had a moment myself. It was... <coughs> excuse me. It was actually... It was a while, oh, it was a while ago. I would say like a year and a half ago. Oh, wow. Okay. It was a year and a half ago um, near summer. And I was invited to... Uh, someone's uh, birthday party, which was at a was uh, at, a, at a Chinese buffet. Okay. And then. And what's so funny about that? Ian? Nothing. Nothing's funny about that. <laughs> is that a Chinese buffet? <laughs> is it? Is it <laughs> Ian's like losing it. Trying to, I'm trying deeply to engaged. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Trying to keep himself together. No, I went. I went for a friend. And and then I and then when I was there, I just didn't I just didn't have an interest at all in anyone that was there. I didn't even like the food; it was terrible. Uh-huh. The salad yeah, was really? crap. Yeah. Okay. No, the food was bad. Uh, like it was just <laughs> it was a Chinese, just a Chinese buffet. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, everything about it was weird. Like, and apparently he has it like annually. Like he has he goes to that same Chinese buffet. Every every birthday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did he does did he ever mention what he finds like so special yeah, about this about spot? That place? No. I just didn't care. Like I I all I knew was that uh, that would have been the only interesting part of that like party. Like, like No <laughs> quote unquote party, but right. like yeah. yeah. Everyone was either on their phones, yes, uh playing their three DSs. Mm-hmm. They were um, either hu- yeah 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 they either had like booths themselves in this area they closed off like with themselves like just in these booths mm-hmm. like just talking and I'm just kind of just sitting there and then I just hear okay now for the now for the group picture I'm like there's a group picture oh that's the worst that's the worst that's really bad I take it and I have to and sit. it happened at the one I was at too holy shit dude, yeah. 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 What is with going to parties that you don't want to be at and there being group pictures to fucking remind you that you went? I... Oh, I gotta be really careful about this. Uh, <laughs> I, I hate being told I have to take a picture. Okay. Nothing upsets me more. And I hate being told to be in group pictures. It has been... I hate being told to wear a shirt <laughs> to be in a group picture. That yeah. fucking shit. <sighs> what about when you're told to smile? Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. No. That's uh, the... Oh, my God. So, I... 
I, 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 okay, well, I can keep going. Let's burn yeah, the bridge. Let's burn the bridge now, Ian. <laughs> I could burn them all right now because because the photographer, dude, she has a fucking psychotic eyes. Oh, you know, the, you know, those, they have the eyes. Those yes. like the Kanye West, like oh, the greatest ever. Yeah, like, yeah. Like you see the Tyre Weiss, Logan Paul, like Tyre Weiss, <laughs> eyes, like yes. doesn't even fucking blink. Neutral eyes with a smiley face. Yeah, like, exactly. That's, uh, that's the, what she had. Tom Cruise eyes. Yes. Yeah, she was terrifying. Jesus. She 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 was like she had like a she was trying to sell herself um, as a nice person, as okay. like an outgoing nice person. I'm lovable. You're gonna love me. You're gonna I, love me exactly. I'm so fun. It was fucking Ugh. terrible. Yeah. It was Ugh. awful. And then after that, we he said, "Oh, um, we're gonna go see a new movie coming out, um, the Lego Batman movie." Okay. Did you, you want to go downtown to see it? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, sure. Sure. Yeah, fuck <laughs> yeah, it, why? Then I I, at least I don't have to talk to you people. <laughs> I actually did say, yeah, fuck it, sure. I'll, I'll go see a free movie. Yeah. <laughs> and I did. I went to see a free movie. But the thing of it was that um, there wasn't enough space, I guess, to take the car for people that... Some people came on bus there. How many people were at this thing? It was too many. <laughs> like, at it was least too many for a Chinese many. buffet. <laughs> yeah, so 20. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think a lot, dude. For that's like, a lot of people for, for a regular. restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to ask because I feel like I might know the spot. Is this is this a buffet adjacent to a Kmart? How do you know? Is it really? <laughs> Are you serious? Is it? Wait, is it? Wait, where? It's in like Norwalk, like right down the street from where there's a community college. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. This is like we near Whittier. Oh. Yeah, I know exactly where you're talking about. Yeah, well, you guys just know where your Chinese the buffets are. I know where all the buffets. <laughs> That's where I saw. I like looked down. I saw a Denny's. Where I would have much rather gone. Gone to, to a Denny's. To a Denny's than this greasy, dirty ass Chinese buffet. It's really troubling that I know exactly what you're talking about. Quick question. Uh, nothing to do with this story. Yeah. But everything to do with this story. <laughs> okay. Would it be? Would it come off as racist to write in the title of this? Um, which probably by me asking this, yes, it will. Probably. <laughs> In the title of this uh, podcast to be Cracker Jack at a Chinese Buffet. Oh, That's... I'd be into that as a that title. sounds great. Go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Cracker, Cracker Jack, Jack at, a, at a Chinese okay. Buffet. Just saying. Spoilers. <laughs> For this <laughs> podcast. I know you For the know. title you will have read <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> click on this. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Also, fuck you, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, Matt. Fuck you, Matt. That, that would hurt some Matts who watch. <laughs> Look, if your name is Matt and you're watching this, I don't and care. you listen to five basketball podcasts <laughs> and, and buy every single WWE 2K17 or 2K whatever. <laughs> I know that's not what you meant, but <laughs> just the idea of someone being in such existential despair <laughs> that they have to buy a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> a wrestling simulator. They're not games. They're simulators. Like yeah, that. yeah. And then, I guess the part. But the reason I asked about is there a moment where you thought, yeah, I'm done. I had because I had that moment, uh-huh. and it hit fucking hard. Oh, really? It actually surprised me, surprised me. For me, it was like the third beer. Look, you go ahead. For me, <laughs> it was getting to the theater. Mm. Uh, going to the theater, it is super jam packed. You got to sit all the way in the front, mm. and. Um, and I think it was about 20 minutes before the movie started. So we got there a little bit early. Yeah. And, uh, and then he intru- and the friend introduced me uh, to some people. Oh, like, everyone, you told me about this. Yeah, yeah. Right. Everyone besides, like everyone besides who I'm talking about, the birthday person, person they're all super nice. Those super okay. nice people. Okay. And one of them even worked like that as a cook. I didn't know he, he worked as a chef. In like a restaurant, also in the college. Well, he must have had fun at the Chinese with me. <laughs> yeah, no, he 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 wasn't having a good time. No one was having a good time. <laughs> so then, so then he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you know, I have some free food. You know, we ever we always dump our food. You know, if you want any extra." Oh, that's really hours. nice. Yeah, it was super cool. And then I was introduced to him, and then. Sorry, the, I heard that as we dump our food off our plates because you know, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, they they probably do, yeah. and <laughs> they scrape it off. Uh, and then, and then as we're talking, um, my the birthday guy says, "Oh yeah, that's my friend Nick. Uh, he's gone through some shit in life. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
And I like I turned to him yeah. like that's amazing. What the fuck did you like? What was that? <laughs> Why am I the one? Right? <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? <laughs> and you define me by like oh he's just having to go. So I wouldn't like this guy unless he had a horrible horror. You met him? Oh yeah, have I? Remember remember the who came? They came over that one time, both of them. Uh, you met him. Is it the one I thought looked like someone who was, like, molested at a Christian? <laughs> like, was this weekend? No, that was five years ago. Okay. I'm talking about something that happened two years ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, like, the idea... Sorry, of, person, if that's what you're listening to. Hey. Wait, that, no, wait, I told that guy that's what I thought. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> well, this is, uh, this is David. He works in food. Molestation's not funny. Now, let me tell... <laughs> <laughs> Now let me tell you about my friend Nick and uh, everything I immediately associate with him. <laughs> right Gotta do some tough shit. Yeah. Man, I told him like man, like I better when I talk because when I talked to him, like he was like, Oh man. Well I didn't know when he was gonna be a piece of shit, but but when I first met him, he was like, usually you know, having some tough stuff. I'm like, oh it's okay, man, you know, I had this happen. You guys are still fooled by me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some stuff happens and you know, I shared mine like, you know, yeah. You can you know, if you ever want to talk or hang out, just let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first met him. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he was gonna pull that shit. <laughs> that's, not, that's not. That's not. I didn't think he was gonna keep good on his word. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that being open like that would would uh, come back to bite me. Yeah, man. That's why you can't trust anyone. Ever. Now everyone, just... yeah, and everyone at the party is like, "Oh, he went through it's tough shit. Now we either ignore it." And pretend it didn't happen. Or we have to... Or we all, take pity. Yeah. And we treat them like a nice... You've put... Nice yeah. little princess. You've put know. that in the open at a at an inopportune yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh... Hey, everybody be nice to him. He yeah, went yeah, through some tough yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so because of that, um... I didn't... Fun enjoy... being treated normally. Yeah, anyway, go ahead. Well, I, well, the, the, yeah. the problems are obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I... When I sat... So after that happened... Obviously, there were kids in, in the room, so I didn't want to yell or... I mean, I wouldn't yell in general. Right, 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 right. But I was just, like, such a like such a hit. It was just, like... I was on a scene on Seattle. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. And But, um... No, I just quietly sat down and watched the film. I really liked it. It was Lego Band. It's, it's a fun time. It's really fun, It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, except for a shit kid in front who wouldn't stop talking. Ah, Jesus. Um, you kick the fucking seat. You find it. <laughs> you only have to pass him. You don't have to let him you pass out. Fight the dad is wait till his face turns red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the veins then, will pop. And that's yeah. when you know. No, yeah. Yeah. So right as the film finishes, I get up from. I wait a little till parents uh, take all the kids and strollers, and then I I just walked out of the theater. Oh, for sure. I didn't yeah, say, I didn't say that's goodbye. fine. You got your yeah. free movie out you of it. You got your free movie. You're done. I just yeah. walked out and I'm like, you know what? I'm done. Like that's yeah. it. Yeah. I just have no interest anymore. Well, good for you, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you showed him. You. <laughs> he doesn't fucking care. <laughs> no, he doesn't. That's. Uh, that's a good start, man. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Let me now follow that up. Uh, <laughs> Any other... Uh, did you have a child you also called a punk-ass bitch? Did I have a child I called a punk-ass bitch? I said... I I have... Oh, shit. I really hope no one in my work listens to this ever. I have more than one... Like, so you gotta quit like I did. Yeah. I, <laughs> I have had situations where, like, kids... Uh, like You know what? You, you don't really have to. So okay. I can, I'll stop you right here. Okay. If you really don't want to, you don't have to. No, it's... I was just gonna say, like, yeah. that you have situations where you have kids, like, that treat you, like, yeah. really shitty. And that's, like, the... But it doesn't happen yeah. very often, but they're, like, the minority of kids. And mm-hmm. it's, I have at least twice been, like, if you don't pull your fucking shit together yeah. right now, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you out of this room right yeah, now. Throw you through that window. Yeah. And for some Put reason, you through that wall. <laughs> for some reason, hearing an adult just casually threaten them with a fuck, like yeah. uh, the word fuck, that's uh, that's all it takes. So uh, everything's fine. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah, that's. So you uh, pull the knife once for my. <laughs> and then you pull out your gun, right? And then I pulled out my gun. Uh. All right, uh, I've got sure. I've got a story. I got a story right now. I, I can tell. Uh, 
I don't. I don't. I okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, you you did share a lot, like over the podcast. Yeah, yeah last month did happen. Wait, actually, what happened on to the to the Starbucks thing when you were teaching coding? Oh shit! What happened? Oh yeah, whatever happened to that? Um. So like I said, I had like three incidents where I had to watch that happen. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I only know... Just end it right here. Just... I'm sorry, guys. That was all I found out. I'd been going... For anyone who doesn't want uh, listen to the back catalog, you're garbage and named Matt. But, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'd been taking uh, coding lessons at Starbucks so that I would uh, be able to build up uh, my website, which, by the way, I've just released my first travel blog. Oh yeah, we're at Ian. It's uh, don't make me say that URL. It's really ugly. Just I'm, there's, there'll be a link you can click. It's a Winx website. It's, it's, it's God damn it! I can't afford a nice one. Winx is a good show. It's a good. It's they're good. Oh, you. Oh, I see what yeah. you did. I <laughs> the show with the fairy Winx. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the one with all the porn. <laughs> Dude, there's Win- so much porn of that, and then of Chip Dale, like chips, Chip and Dale. Really? really? Yeah. There's lots of porn of Chip and Dale. Um, I know. I know Gadget. Her. Oh, are we just gonna go with cartoon characters that are like obviously sexualized? Yeah. And obviously have like porn. Count Duckula. Uh, Who the fuck is Count Duckula? Count Duckula. Oh, from the thing you sent me. Yeah. So, so they've been sending out. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so they've been sending me these things in texts that just ruined my day. And one of them was that Donald Duck. Donald Duck, yeah. Donald Duck teamed up with Blade Runner. Blade. Or no, Blade Runner. It's fucking Blade. <laughs> was fucking Wesley Snipes Blade. <laughs> yeah. uh, and they fought a Dracula duck. Uh, Count, Count Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. And what's the phrase that he uses? Um, oh, some motherfuckers always try to ice skate uphill. Some motherfuckers always want to ice skate uphill, yeah. yeah. And Wesley Snipes goes, oh, I'm going to use that line. I'm going to use that line. It's <laughs> canon. <laughs> It's such a good <laughs> piece of right. It's insane. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Have you guys been watching the new Ducktales? No, no. Is it good? I heard it is. I haven't. Seen it. I haven't seen <laughs> That's it. the end of that. Sorry. Yeah, I, there I are people in it I like. Yeah. I really like David Tennant. He was Doctor Who. I really okay. like him. Uh, and the guy from Community is in it. I like him. That guy, right? Fucking love. Ab Abed from Community. Oh, okay. Uh, awesome. Danny Danny Pudi. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the one who was on um... Cougar Town that one yes. time. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't Cougar Town. Yeah. He leaves because he shits himself. And then I was so terrified. I was there yeah. on Cougar Town, <laughs> and I shit myself. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, uh, do you mind if I talk about stuff I'm I'm kind of uh, yeah go for it excited right now. about? Well All right. Yeah. Um. As long as you plug in my shit over there. Oh, sure. I'm not going to check. But <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've got a travel thing coming up. You, you all should uh-huh. check that out. It's like uh, I'm going to be visiting the cities. Oh, you have a real Anthony over. Bourdain over here. It's a real... I tried very hard to not make it just like a BuzzFeed listicle where I just like go places and I'm like, well, this yeah, is then, the price. And, and then this you is... really want those clicks. I really want those <laughs> clicks. But, you know, I'm... I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm hot or ethnically ambiguous enough to be for BuzzFeed, <laughs> so I, <laughs> is he, which, what, 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 what's going on? Um, but, uh, no, Are I you did, saying you're obviously Jewish? Please? I'm obviously, <laughs> ju- people see my nose. And you view it as this <laughs> week? <Yeah. laughs> you don't want them to get nervous. No. <laughs> I don't want people, I, I want people to know what they're dealing with right away. Um, <laughs> so my first one, Portland. Uh, go check that out uh, at the links below. I have to be very careful about what my next words are. Okay. <laughs> We're going to hold back some jokes. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, could... That makes me a terrible person. Okay. Yeah, you're a monster. <laughs> you're goddamn... <laughs> and do it again. I'm trying to work on it. I'm sorry. Um, so there's a handful of things that are going to come out in a little while that I'm super excited about and I wanted to talk about. Nice. Things. Uh, one is the HBO is going to make two shows actually i'm really excited about ah. one is david lindelof is adapting watchmen as a tv oh. show okay uh so we'll see how that goes did yeah. you know that it's been a decade since that movie came out yeah ah oh, fuck 
Right? It came out during the... I remember it came out when the PS3 came out, 10 years ago. Jesus Christ, man. Like, One of the kids I worked with were younger than the PS3. Yeah. Oh, well, fuck. Like, it would be fuck. like less than 10, so like 9, 8. Do you get mad about that? Like, I yeah. work... When I work with I had kids, a real existential episode, like, <laughs> <laughs> once we get that. Man, joke. I realize I can't make uh, Inspector Gadget references anymore. This is my problem every day. <laughs> I can't make a C lab reference. I was I was gonna say I make a lot of jokes. Herculoids, right? Yeah. Hercule- Jackie O. I, f- I can't yeah. stop making fun of Jackie O. Uh, Clarissa tells it all. Oh, explains it all. It all. Oh, explains it all. There you go. Golly, golly island. Go, let's golly, golly, golly island. Gather in the bright sunny weather. Let's all go to Golly, golly island. Golly, golly. Right. What's up? Uh, <laughs> so David Lindelof, of course, co-creator of Lost. Uh-huh. He also did The Leftovers, which I guess is good. I've never seen it. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, it's... The Lost. Yeah, Lost. Yeah, Lost. Uh, anyway, uh, so Watchmen. Yeah, it's getting a full series adaptation, and I guess they're yeah. going to actually start before the eighties. Uh, okay, so, so they're gonna start what with the comedian? Or are they going into the like classic Watchmen, the original Watchmen before? Uh, so that's so like before Alan Moore. That's like the forties. Yeah. Wow. So Is I don't it, know. Are they all gonna be like washed up and get killed? Probably. Mm. Probably. Mm. Big fart cloud is gonna <laughs> kill them with that polar bear. Oh Jesus! Fart cloud's gonna be running a polar bear. And then there'll be a giant space monster. That's yeah. not a JJ. And then they'll explain it all in a in a bonus scene that you can only get in uh, one of the season's DVD collections. Not even all of them, just that one. Just that one. <laughs> and then I don't and know. It's but... all bullshit. And they explain it away in thirty minutes. God, God damn it! Anyway, they're also doing a show with Aaron Magruder uh, from Boondocks. Is oh. making a show with them. Oh, that's awesome. That's right. Yeah. Uh, he's oh no. He's the only hope. I'm not, I'm actually, I misspoke. It's not HBO, it's um, Amazon is making a show. Oh, okay. In response to, I'm sure we talked about it forever ago, uh-huh. uh, when it came out, was uh, the guys who do uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, I want to make What If the South won. What If the South won, uh, the show? Yeah. Uh, so Aaron Magruder apparently, in reaction, immediately pitched a show that he had to uh-huh. Amazon called uh, Black America where President Lincoln followed through with the promise of 40 acres and a mule for every freed slave. Oh, wow. And five of our states are just a different country now run by the descendants of slavery. Huh. And then what's that like? That sounds actually way That's more way more interesting yeah, right? than... Well, the South... What if the ha- white man was... <laughs> but what if white men were still in power more than now? Yeah. So, like, so what... And we... Called them slaves instead of right. tricking people into debt. And or I'm into not going to get to paid prisons. We yeah. yeah, it's it's this isn't a political yeah. show, but cheaper by the dozen. <laughs> Wait, what? what? That's what the term that slave came from slavery. Cheaper by the dozen. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. You tell me this. Yeah, it's fucked up. I never knew that. It what, makes that movie you, weird. Can you get into that? <laughs> a little yeah, bit? pretty much. Cheaper by the dozen means that um, you know when they did all the breeding houses. Yes. Cheaper by the dozen means that. Um, that it's cheaper to get inbred slaves by the dozen, just keep inbreeding them. Holy shit! And then and yeah. and sell them in, in dozens. So it's cheaper to get a dozen inbred slaves than a nor- one normal slave who who's been stolen from Africa. Or something. Yeah. Holy fuck! That really does make that movie very different. Uh, yeah. It makes the sequel even weirder. Do you, <laughs> what was the name of the sequel? Two oh. Inbred Dozen Two. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it had like some weird like if it does the, I don't remember cheaper by the dozen too. Where are you going <laughs> or something? Yeah, Steve Martin's like ah, you got me ah. <laughs> Steve, Steve Martin is secretly an agent for white supremacy. Right. You guys, I've been uh, I've been trying to. <laughs> um, no, I'm super excited about both of those. Those yeah. sound great. And then, uh. Oh, oh I, I am actually really excited about one of the uh, movies that Disney insists on remaking. Okay. Uh, Guy Ritchie is going to make Aladdin. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar That's with That's going to be so... I mean, it's the Robin Williams thing. Like, 
Yeah, that's the that's, the, that's the thing. Yeah. You know who they've recast for that? They've already recast. Who? Who? You're gonna make a sound, and okay. we're we're. I want you to know we're all agreeing, but I've just processed Don't my like disgust. Lizama. No. Oh <laughs> God, no. Who? Will Smith. Really? Will Smith as uh, a genie. Oh, as genie. As genie. Oh, okay. Will Smith is genie. Huh. Uh, basically, all the other actors are like British people who are from Middle Eastern yeah, descent. Into it. Kind of... Yeah, I'm not crazy <laughs> into it. Because like, kind of those two have very different energies, and I'm yeah. just thinking like, how are you? <laughs> how? Fucking G. Hey, yo, look, <laughs> lamp is tight. <laughs> Check out my conference. Yeah, I was about. I was trying to. I was trying to make an iRobot. <laughs> I'm <lost laughs> potato pie. Okay. Converse. <laughs> I'm Mercedes. You rub that logo for three wishes. This this character who is against uh big corporations and <laughs> what if uh, what if the genie had like a little friend also who could be played by someone who looks like me also. Is related. And is related. So oh man, why didn't they get Shaq? He was already genie. Oh my! <laughs> well, there you go. Oh my god. That's the... That response alone proves who should be playing that part. It, it should have been Shaq. He was already a genie. He has experience. Genie? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Just the... The mere thought! The mere thought of it is hilarious to me! God knows how funny it would actually be! <laughs> <laughs> With three wishes, old school basketball, mano y mano. <laughs> you gotta face Jafar, mano y mano. You want a bubble chair to take me to this chair? Um. <laughs> so, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie um, I'm not super well. Uh, uh, the actor who's playing Aladdin, Jasmine, and Jafar uh. are actors you've probably seen in. Uh, Something in like the, those Academy Award nominated films, they're they're people who have definitely been in Slumdog and been in the movie Lion, which I didn't watch either of those movies. But yeah, I still haven't watched. I know about the musical scene. Oh the yeah, Slumdog. Yeah, I know more about that than I do the rest of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just the when when I you watch that movie. when you suggested that it made me think about when Paul F. Tompkins was talking about seeing Fabio at his old job. Oh yeah, that. he's just like yeah. it must be so stressful to be him. The mere idea of you existing, <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fabio just wants to be friends. <laughs> Why? Everyone <laughs> laugh at his face. <laughs> Fabio Smith. <laughs> That's all I, I want in life. <laughs> yeah, what are you looking for is you. Oh, man. Um, finishing uh, Devil Man Crybaby. Oh, yeah. Totally. I'll eventually do that. And then <laughs> play more Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball Z. That's really... I mean, that's yeah. honestly all... Given those that's games... That's all I wanted to do. Yeah, and then I... Um, like, I was sitting here. I was trying to keep up with the conversation. I think I did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. I like to think about Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. So then with that and then life stuff, it's like you can't... I can't have any time for the games I already started because mm-hmm. Monster Hunter's out. I'm not going to catch up on my reads after like a while, too. Yeah. yeah. So that's fair. So I'm saying. Stack them, I guess. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, really, because Monster Hunter and. Well, Interesting, fair enough. Well, I mean, in February, early February is when Shadow of Glosses comes out. Oh, the re release. Yeah. That's right. The PS4, yeah. It's so fucking beautiful. It, it looks, looks gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. You can't wait yeah. to play the shit out of it. Yeah, and. Uh, I mean, one of the things I did after watching Do- Do Man Crybaby is rereading Golden Guy is basically all his other stuff, like his whole... Oh, okay. So, like, I reread Devil Man. It's like six volumes. Oh, okay. Totally short. Like, a, a majority of what he's written is short. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I have all of them. I, I remember Violent Jack being my favorite, which was basically maybe kind of it was kind of hinting at being a like a dystopian Mad Max like uh, sequel okay. to Devil Man. It's like it's like a what if, like what if the devil won and then he just destroyed the world, oh. and the humans who survived just live off the land. That's Violent Jack. Okay. So that one I remember liking the most. Apparently for Devil Man, dude, there's like there's like twenty five spinoffs of yes. Devil Man. Really? There's yes. a point where he was a he was a Zodiac Knight and he wrote, yes. he wrote a dragon. Holy shit! Yeah, it was really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, amazing. 
And he also had like a crossover with Cutie Honey too. Really? Yeah, it was like an OVA movie, like just like an hour, hour and a half. Oh my gosh. Hey, well, Devil Man's canon in the show. That's true. It's true. That's where he gets the name. Yeah. And and what he and and they play the original theme song. They do. They don't play it long enough. I'm so fucking tired. Like it, like it, it's hitting my body all at once. Like now. Yeah, I can see. I can see like the <laughs> physical exhaustion in your body. Like it's it. Like it's definitely in my legs. Oh that yeah. Makes sense. Oh nice. It's gonna it's gonna just slowly yeah. come up until your jaws lock. It doesn't help that I just started like a workout regimen too, so like I get yeah. old man tired now. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the? It, I thought that I had at least till my thirties before like my body oh, started to do not shit the way like we that. Live. No, not the way. <laughs> not the... We live fast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about fast, but we definitely live reckless. Oh yeah. With no regard. I mean, I walk to McDonald's every day. <laughs> well, I'm mad because I'm definitely gonna eat that. Later. <laughs> hey, I'm you should have gone yesterday. Did, did you did you get that McDonald's app? We told you. No, I didn't. My, I have to clear up my. I'm actually gonna probably buy a new phone. Okay. Because oh. my because my because f- they give away, they they give away fries every Friday. They free fry Friday. Yeah, man. Yeah. You get free medium fries every Friday as long as you buy anything. Yeah. Oh God damn it. Yeah, you can buy a dollar burger and you get. Free medium fries. Large fries with medium fries, yeah. Well, I'm absolutely going to do that. That's true. You can buy like a dollar large fries now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking I'm so the on gas. Edge. <laughs> I'm so on edge. <laughs> <laughs> the gas from Nick's chair. I, yeah, I pushed it. just blows through yeah. the chair, you know that, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. you can just explode. When I, when I heard that, my brain was immediately like, well, an assassin with a blow dart is yeah. definitely going to kill you right yeah. now. So when you, when, you, like, when you jump like that, is it like jump like I'm going to run or jump like free? You know, it's like this freeze run. You hope the reflex saved you somehow. Yeah, my immediate <laughs> reflex is usually slapping someone in the face. I've done that a handful of times. And that's my knee-jerk reaction to danger. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> 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 it definitely can't yeah, do it. Definitely catch someone off guard. And I kind of hope that one day, that's a horrible thing to, that I actually am seriously attacked by someone who wishes me ill, just so that like I have a hammer. No. Yeah. <laughs> and I love you. Ah. <laughs> Speaking of horrible thing we wish for, I once um I was totally joking, but I love the idea that if I did believe it. Um, <laughs> is uh once in my uh drama class i had a friend i have a friend um he got into a car accident uh oh, no. but due to insurance he can't really go to the doctor oh, so he's just kind of riding it out um his legs were like really killing him and then i was talking to him about it and i went oh i kind of wish i got into a car accident he goes, what the fuck? And I went, like, well, look at all the attention you're getting. Out. What the fuck? <laughs> He's like, N- uh, no. You, you know what? That is, that is not something an only child would ever think to say. <laughs> ever. <laughs> and as immediately as I said it, I like, and it's so laughing. I'm like, that's really, fu- that's like, pretty fucked up. But like, that's really much, that's the most fucked up thing I've said in a while. <laughs> <laughs> then you talk at the, at the Yeah, then they called the child a punk ass bitch. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, it always happens. It always slips. You you try to better yourself and then as a human being, and like it just slips out. You're a punk ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's this little bitch doing? What's yeah, maybe it? if he wasn't such a punk, I wouldn't have to call him. <laughs> By the way, my new favorite insult to call people is punk because it sounds like something a five year old would say. Right. When they can't call someone an asshole or like. Yeah. You're being a real punk. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Are you you're like quipping a punk? <laughs> like like that? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Sounds like someone trying to be real edgy and like. Absolutely. I love it. Uh, this is this is maybe not comparable. I I miss uh, like when someone says something ridiculous, which it happens more and more. It seems every mm-hmm. day. Uh, calling it horseshit. It seems like an old man thing. Horseshit sounds pretty old. Oh. You know who says you know who says horseshit all the time? <laughs> Matt. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, what an old, what old an man. old, decrypt old man uh, who's a his, sheep. Just oh. loves his little b-ball t- times <laughs> on the radio. Uh, it's like the Smash Bros. Uh, video where he's he lost and he's like, oh, this is horse shit. And he runs <laughs> off. Yeah. Yeah, his name's also Matt. Oh Shut up. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you fucking with me? 
You know what? I, I really don't mean to if I am <laughs> but I don't know. Like, I assume it was... I you think, know what? If Matt wasn't such a punk, you wouldn't have to be. You know what? Most likely, yes, his name's Matt, but I could be wrong. And I don't mean to be, sorry. So this would be a great place to end this podcast? Yeah. I will say one thing. I said something at the beginning of the podcast that I would try to tie back yeah. for the ending. I completely forgot what it was. Oh, no. I can go back to the recording and see what's up, but... Nah. No, this is good. No, this is good. I like this. Yeah. Right here. This is pretty... I think we finally hit our comfortable yeah. stride. <laughs> <laughs> You're here with us, and we refuse to attend. Well... Ian's got to go home. I have to go, well, I have to make a stop first, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a bit important business. <laughs> a dollar, and two dollar, and three dollar menu is pretty good, huh? You know what, punk? <laughs> you know what? Hey, man, that's horse shit. <laughs> you can throw, two, throw the book at me? <laughs>